Laser liposuction, hot topic. You do a lot of it. Yeah, so we do laser liposuction in our practice as well. And I like to think of our practice in our, our center as a total transformation package. There's some patients who are good cool sculpting patients. There are some patients who are good liposuction patients. There are some patients who are both. Now, with this technology we have, we actually use the Alma uh, LipoLife. It has the ability to pull out the fat, store it, and then with the proper consultation, actually re-inject the fat into the breasts. We've done some, some breast lifts to the buttock or even into the face. And I think that's really the, the future of, of, of liposuction. Are there stem cells in those fat? There are. So and so these fat cells are actually enriched with stem cells and other kind of healing uh, properties, uh, which explains why there's a take rate into the breast or when you use it in the face, you have such outstanding results. So how is laser liposuction different than traditional, I guess, uh, tumescent liposuction? Well, laser liposuction does incorporate some principles of tumescent liposuction, except that the cannulas are smaller, there's a laser, fine laser at the end of it, and enables us to do a lot of very fine detailed work with the cannula. Because there's a laser, there's heat, so there's some skin tightening effects and benefits as we do laser liposuction So the as laser well. is more for the tightening of it or more for, it helps break up the fat, or actually, both? Actually both, so now I've, I've actually done both. So I've done traditional liposuction and I know when I've done it because my shoulder pays for it in the morning. Okay. And I've done laser liposuction where I go in and I use the laser cannula to break up some of the fat before I start pulling it out. Now, what it means to the patient is that you have additional skin uh, retraction and skin tightening, and there's less bleeding because there's a heat at the end of the laser that actually helps with coagulation as well. Okay, now with these women, what, what's the average age of the people getting liposuction these days? We've seen the, the whole gamut, Randy. Uh, most patients who are coming in are over the age of 30. We've seen some late 20 year olds, um, but it, it, I, I've seen the full gamut. We've seen How old can you be to get this done? And how old are they that are coming in? Well, it depends. We have 60 year old patients who are healthy. They're healthy with regards to their heart. The rest of the body is healthy, but they just have these stubborn pockets of fat that they can't seem to get rid of. Are you combining it with like hormone? Replacement therapy as well? Absolutely. With the and I think that's really our that's really what we're known for in our in our area is that Dr. Tang Schnob's practice is a whole body approach. We look at your hormones, we look at your hormone status, we're optimizing hormones. I've actually had to say no to a few patients okay. because I think they should lose some weight first, or maybe patients who had signed up for life. I had a patient sign up for um, a body sculpting procedure, end up losing weight, and w was very happy with those results. And so I think by having every procedure and every kind of ability technology in our practice, we really do give the patients a, a full spectrum of, of options and choices that benefits them. Now I know you're big on cool sculpting. Is there a place of a combination of laser liposuction and cool sculpting? Absolutely. Do they ever go together? Yeah, I think they could go together. I think that patients who maybe start with cool sculpting and there are other areas of the body that they want to get rid of more than just the 20, 25% or they want it more immediate might end up going down the liposuction route. Absolutely. Randy. So do you believe that if you're gonna get cool sculpting, go to somebody that both does liposuction and cool sculpting to get an honest opinion? Uh, I think that if you're considering body contouring, you should basically see if the, if the provider provides cool sculpting, laser liposuction, and hormone optimization in one place, because I think that's really gonna be the best result.